In the last video, we initialized an MFC, a Microsoft Foundation console application, using the basic wi or wizard, and we set it to dialog. Then we changed out from rulers to grids, and we tested our application. Next, what you'll want to do is you're going to want to use the toolbox and add components or elements or whatever they might be known as nodes to it. So if we go over here and click on toolbox, you can click on the toolbox and then if you click on auto hide or the pin right here, we can pin this and we can see all our tools while we're editing. We don't have to jump back and forth all the time. So next what you'll want to do is let's say we want to add something like static text. So notice that it's actually snapping and we have static text right here. And then let's say we wanted to add a checkbox or not even a checkbox in a sample. We could almost add anything in here. So and you're wondering, well, where's the input box? Where's your standard input box? It's oddly enough, it's named edit control. Again, that's a Microsoft choice, not mine. So let's go ahead and rename this. Let's go up here and uh, in your properties window over here on the right, make sure that the element you want to change the text, in other words, the caption that it's displayed, is selected. Then scroll on up to the top, locate caption. Right now it says static, and let's name this, imagine it was a an employee ID or a user ID. So now we have our user ID. Then let's align our box. And we'll expand it a little bit out. And we have a user ID field. Another field you might want to do is, say, a date time. So again, let's get some static text. Now I could easily just drag over for static text or for even elements since I haven't renamed the ID fields. I can simply click on a field and like any other Windows program, push Control C, Control V, which of course will give me a copy of my element. So go ahead and let's change it from user ID now to date. And then this time, let's add in date field. So now we have a user ID and we have a date, which is nice because we don't have to create a custom date system. So let's go ahead and let's save our application and run it. Okay, there's no bugs. It looks like it's working. I can type in and I can change the date. Perfect. If we click OK, it'll close it out. If I click Cancel, it'll cancel any changes. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I'll show you how to change the ID and how to add possible functionality to a button.